All right, Slack Master fans, continuing with the Emmanuel Mondays, which is actually on Wednesday this week. It's Emmanuel and the Art of Love. Let's check it out. Imagine a magical device that would allow you to enter the mind and body of anyone you so desire. A device that allows you to be anyone, feel anything, and unlock your deepest desires. This is the reality of the near future. An erotic landscape where anything is possible. Welcome to the world of Emmanuel 2000. Emmanuel is at an art gallery and some guy named Marco is eyeing her up. The corner of my eye is an incredibly handsome man checking me out. As I move to the next painting, so did he. I'm having a heated discussion. Marco and his girlfriend Zoe are planning to steal to make the painting. I heard something that froze me or actually eyes. switch out a painting with a fake. All you have to do is distract everyone. I think you can do that, don't you? Of course, before they do that, they decide to consummate their plan while Emmanuel watches. Emmanuel tries to stop them, though. You should be my work. I shot here, not this torpid hustler. Are you an artist? Yes, a very good artist. Think I could convince you to walk away right now and show me your work? He refuses. Anyway, Emmanuel leaves, and while Zoe pretends to be all hot and bothered, causing a distraction in the art gallery. Her boyfriend, Marco, is making the switch. Uh, can you get me this? I picked it up on the way home. Like so, yes. Emmanuel slipped him this, uh, you know, virtual reality thing that she can spy on them, so what and he ends now? up giving it to her. And now she can tap into her head. Is what Zoe, are you okay? Good. She can hear me, but he can't. Zoe, he's using you. You must return the painting before he destroys it. Turns out the guy who painted that painting is his brother. That was my brother. We would go up very close. We were going to be the first painter that took brothers. We had all these plans to travel the world, showing our work, getting it all together. So, what happened? We were literally painted side by side. And Otto Vito, a, a, a big art broker from Milano Solace, he immediately took to Pablo for to show his work all over the world. Sort of. Manuel introduces hey, herself to Zoe. Hey, that woman that was here earlier. Don't worry, I'm here to help you. Why? You tried to bust me earlier. But that was then. We've been through so much since then. We? What are you talking about? Remember the voices in your head? That was me. So they make the switch again, and the original painting is back. You were just saying that. Zoe, meanwhile, wants to learn the trick on how to get in other people's heads. Manuel then organizes a reunion of brothers. I'm so glad. Michael, I've been so worried. Where have you been? After I left Italy, I left work for you to meet me in New York so we can show our work together. Emmanuel is clearly going to hook up with Paolo now. Oh boy, you did it! I'm and, here. And, and guess who's in her head well? now? What? Zoe. Nothing, Paolo. I said I hear you, and it fills me inside. Emmanuel, may I kiss you? Hell yes. The two of them get it on, and then he proposes. Will you marry me? Yes, Marco, I will. <laughs> So I think this is more or less a bachelor party then, or bachelorette party. And uh, Manuel has her necklace. She thinks she would mind. Does she have to now? <laughs> necklace which allows them to go into other people, of course. Oh my god, it worked. You are so beautiful. So are you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get it on. The company has a beautiful woman like yourself. This is incredible. Are you okay? Yeah, 
we have another session coming up. What a party. The wedding is today. I hope Zoe's okay. I'm sure she slept well. Tiring traveling into another person's mind. It may be tiring, but it's worth it. Bye for now. Another scene which I can't show you much of. For reasons of never really explained, Emmanuel gets naked and ties herself to a radiator, or I'm sorry, handcuffs herself to a radiator, and she has to call a locksmith. Thankfully, the phone was nearby. You can kind of guess where this is going to lead. In bed the next day or next morning, she slips the necklace on him. Is there anything to forgive? She's going to find out that Marco is involved with some drug dealers. He wants to raise some money for his life, his wedding. It's the next stop, Guadalajara. Last one before the border. You know what to do? Yeah. Get off the boat. Meet the mark. Pick up the dope. Cross the border. Do the drop. Meet you in San Diego. Get the money. I don't. For no particular reason, she steals his necklace. I don't know what that is. Take it. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Don't pout. I'll give it back to you in San Diego. Now go. I'll meet you in the dining room in the morning. And this man knows how to Then when Francesca and her man decide to get it on, Emmanuel is able to partake a little bit. Manual like, to the rescue. You save him from making a grave mistake that could cost him his life. You know, you're scaring me. I'll explain everything to you later. Come on, let's go. Don't worry about us. This is where we get off. You won't see us again until the deal is done. Marco, don't do it. I don't think you're going anywhere. Emmanuel, can you sure can you say Just say I have to have an extra pair. Sorry, you don't. Understand, it's not what you think. Baby, I know everything. Don't you get it? I married you for you, not for money. I don't care if we live in a shack, as long as we live together. How about it here? Well, not so fast. The two of Ortega, Francesco and Ada, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and do can and will be used against you in a court of law. Love is like the ocean. Vast, dangerous, and unpredictable. I feel free and safe, ready for my next adventure. All right, let's talk about Emmanuel and the Art of Love. Uh, it stars Holly Sampson as Emmanuel. This is the fourth Emmanuel series, and I believe it's the second in that particular series, uh, which again stars Holly Sampson. She stars in these seven. The uh, overall plot of this series is that she has this um, virtual reality mind device that she can put on herself, put on other people, and then she can tap into their bodies. She can talk to them in their heads, and then she can experience whatever sexual things uh, that person is experiencing, I guess. So, anyway. <laughs> um, the movie starts out. She's in an art gallery in San Francisco. She sees this guy, Marco, and Marco's girlfriend, Zoe. They're planning to steal a painting. They're actually switch a painting, take out the real one, put in a fake one. Uh, we find out, and they're able to pull it off, actually. Um, uh, that we find out later on that the reason Marco wanted that painting is because his brother painted it and his brother um, and he were going to have um, they were they were painters together and they were planning to have big uh, you know painting plans I guess uh, for their lives but some art dealer took an interest in just his brother's work and then his brother took off and did that and so Marco was really jealous he thought they should have been a team that sort of thing he hasn't been in contact with his brother in a while steps Emmanuel steps in and she basically gets them to return the painting or do the switch again and then she arranges a, uh, a reunion between the brothers and it turns out the brother was trying to get a hold of Marco because they wanted to work together and uh, Marco apologizes for his behavior so I guess everyone's happily ever after there uh, meanwhile, Paolo, the brother, and Emmanuel get it on. Marco and uh, Zoe uh, get engaged. And then we find out that uh, Marco is involved with some drug dealers. He wants to raise some money so he can have a good life for he and Zoe. Um, 
so he arranges that, uh, but Emmanuel finds out about that because of the whole mind control thing or the, the mind device thing. So she overhears it all. Um, and then she tells Zoe about that. And then the two of them say, we got to go rescue him so he doesn't make the biggest mistake of his life. And they do that just in time. Um, he doesn't go through with the drug deal and the two drug dealers are arrested by the cops. Two cops. And uh, that's pretty much how the movie ends. I don't know. Strange little film. Uh, at least there was a little bit of a plot to follow in this one. There was, again, one sexual liaison after the other in this movie. And uh, those scenes take up quite a bit of the time, the running time of this 81-minute movie. Um, but whatever, right? Anyway, that's why you watch this garbage is for the nude scenes. And this movie did have plenty of them. So we'll leave it at that. So anyway, that is Emmanuel, The Art of Love. Uh, it's a very difficult film to track down. Uh, I have it on this... Uh, I think it's a Polish DVD collection here, which took me four years to actually track down and acquire. Um, it's good luck finding it. If you can, great. You should probably snatch it up because it's, <laughs> it's not very plentiful. Um, uh, but five of these, actually, four of these seven movies have been released on an, uh, on an American uh, DVD. Um, but the other three have not. You can only get them as far as I know. On this collection, it's the only collection you can find the English versions. You can actually find the German versions of them out there as well. But... Um, uh, if you want the English versions, I think you can only get them on this collection here. So anyway, that's it. So anyway, that is Emmanuel and the Art of Love. I will leave a link to something down below if you're looking to get it. And uh, let me know what you think about it if you've seen it. Holly Sampson. Uh, check it out. Emmanuel and the Art of Love. Bye.